Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, March 4th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I listen to and for the messages from God. God, Goddess, Source, Universe, all that is, is always connecting to us, always sending us messages, and it's a reminder to listen because sometimes we get so wrapped up in our mind and so wrapped up in the happenings that we forget to listen, and yet we are always being sent messages, messages of love, messages of support, messages of you got this, I've got you, and it's a good week to listen because while the first part of the week is kind of like quiet, the second part of the week definitely ramps up. Um, just preparing you for some of the ramping. <laughs> we have Mercury preparing to finish up in Pisces to begin anew in Aries. Uh, but before that, we'll meet up with Neptune. And Mercury and Neptune and Pisces depth definitely can have some depth. <laughs> definitely can have some uh, deep chords and deep messages. So this message of listening is for this week ahead, for sure. Um, we're also moving into dark of the moon this week as we have a new moon coming in on Sunday morning, early Sunday morning. Um, and we also have a Mars Uranus square going on, and that's going to be Saturday. And Mars Uranus squares can have some tempestuous energies between them. So, thank you, Alexa. Alexa, stop. <laughs> so, watch for those energies uh, incoming later this week. I will be here with you for them. Uh, for today, we have the moon finishing up in Sagittarius and then moving into Capricorn. So we're going to have a little bit of a void moon Monday. It can be hard to get going on these days. It can feel like things kind of go a little bit wrong. Give yourself extra time. Be extra gentle with yourself in and through this energy, uh, especially because we wake up with the moon and Neptune in a square. It might be really hard to pull yourself out of dream state and it might be like, wait, am I dreaming now or was I dreaming then? Like, what is the dream? It might just feel a little discombobulating uh, in, your, in your morning. And speaking of discombobulation, we also have Mercury and Uranus connecting today. Mercury um, in Pisces connecting to Uranus in Taurus. This is my lazy cat connection. Your mind may not want to shift from dream state. Your mind may not necessarily want to be coming online. Your mind may be feeling kind of lazy cat. <laughs> so watch for that because that's smack dab in the middle of the day. And I always say anytime we have Mercury and Uranus in connection, the mental vibes can increase so much. Mercury in Pisces, these mental vibes are very etheric, <laughs> very high and airy in the clouds. Last time we had a strong Mercury Pisces day, I think it was last Monday. Oh my goodness, it was last Tuesday. I felt like such an airhead, like all day. So you may experience some of that, even with that Taurus grounding. So watch for that today. Like maybe take a little extra time to breathe in and root yourself to support yourself in and through this energy. Moon moves into Capricorn at 1.15 p.m. Pacific time. So like I said, void moon space, void moon is when the moon is like transiting signs and it just can feel like a day out of time. It can just feel kind of weird. And things sometimes act a little Mercury retrograde. And with the Mercury energy we've already got going on, there's a good chance there's going to be some wonkiness. That's okay. <laughs> just be prepared for it. Breathe through it. Um, Capricorn, moon into Capricorn does bring a little bit more grounded energy to Sun in Pisces, a little bit more oomph and uh, momentum. Momentum and uh, purpose, even, purpose is definitely a Capricorn wor word, to how we are moving forward. So we may not find ourselves in much of a flow state the next few days as Capricorn directs us a little bit more through the energies. Um, but watch for the shittiness and see if you can stay in your own flow. I have a sneeze coming. Hold on. Maybe. Are you going to do it? Come on. <laughs> okay.
Okay, it decided to leave. Um, it's in my eyeballs, so you can see the tears. <laughs> so, conditioning. Conditioning is a very Capricorn energy. Watch for the conditioning. See if you can stay in your own soul flow. I believe that the true essence of Capricorn is one of being so aligned in purpose and not so much aligned in shoulds and society energy. That's where Capricorn can get hijacked, like into like, you know, the American dream and climbing, climbing the ladder. But the true energy of Capricorn is one of soul purpose and soul mission. So keep that in mind. It's really great to stay connected to your inner child. And I have two inner children two inner children going on here. We've got the outsider where your inner child may be locked away, maybe due to some of these shoulds. And then we have playfulness. What happens when you unlock? Pisces is such a creative and playful and potentially joyful sign because it remembers the mystery of the universe and connects into that energy. So if you're getting a little shoddy with yourself, how can you get a little bit playful and shift? Um, speaking of shift, I do have the transformation card. So definitely some transformational energy engaging us. I feel like this is for this week ahead. Definitely some interesting stuff coming in this week ahead. And of course, we have the turning in card. This is a reminder. Take that time. Listen. Connect with God. Universe. Remember what you are a part of and what you are here for. And this is that turning in card. Now, speaking of the playfulness, ah, as I drop things, I've got such a good roomy card. And I'm going to try not to read the whole thing. I pulled Whirling Goddess. Lose your head. Not a single thread that has a head can go through the eye of the needle. <laughs> uh, this oracle brings you a message. You're at the point of growth where your mind can hold you back rather than urge you forward. Um... I don't want to read all of this because I definitely could. So I'm going to just read the last little thing and the little sacred honoring ritual. This oracle brings you a special message. If there is an issue, any issue, apparently unsolvable or unknowable in your life right now, or anything that you're just trying to move your way through, the divine is handling it. The divine is in the middle of it, working through the knot and unraveling it. Fear not. Do the sacred ritual. Give yourself permission to take the night off from worry and repeat this heavenly prescription daily as needed. So the sacred honoring ritual. I give my heart permission to leave this dance. I give my mind some time off. No more worry or doubt, planning or resisting. Instead, I surrender. Instead, I open. Instead, I allow I allow, I allow, and all unfolds with perfection, divine timing, and the miracle of grace. With Rumi as my soul witness, so be it. And that is the sacred honor and ritual. And I think that's perfect and divine in this energy. So that's it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Uh, eclipse readings available. Um, check out... The Mighty Mushroom and the Goldie Blendies that I have linked below with a 10% off. Uh, my friend has made these divine formulas and they will be really helpful to move through these eclipse energies. And besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and remember who you are for you are the solution. Namaste.